Hey, I'm Robin Openshaw. I'm the Green Smoothie Girl Online. The Appeal founder absolutely was awarded funding from Bill Gates. So it turns out I have more to say about Dr. Mark Hyman interviewing Appeal Sciences founders, James Rogers, and what the truth is about who funded James Rogers product development that isn't actually a natural product or food protecting food, as he says. After Hyman got a lot of heat from his followers who don't want to fake peel on their food that they can't wash off. I don't usually do this, but uh, it, it kind of disturbed me, which is a bunch of misinformation about a particular product that I had as a sponsor on my podcast. And I got called out for it. And uh, I want to talk about the science of this. And I want to talk about this issue because I think it's really important. And it sort of speaks to people's confusion and misinformation. And people were like, how could you do this? This product is full of glyphosate. It's poisoning you. It's terrible. So I thought I would actually uh, call my friend James from uh, Appeal, who I met at the Milken conference years ago. And we were on a panel about environment and food waste. As Mark Hyman and James Rogers laugh at Dr. Hyman's followers having a problem with this synthetic product being sprayed on our produce, James Rogers actually denies receiving funding from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. But the Gates Foundation's own website shows Appeal receiving funds from them, twice actually. Apparently in the beginning, Mr. Rogers appears to have been experimenting with Africans' food, spraying it on their crops as they grew. The first grant was apparently to spray it right on crops in the field. That was his published plan anyway, even if his current product is to spray it on harvested produce. Who knows if he got African farmers to accept a few bucks to spray his original product on their farms. I don't know about you, but I get really sad when I read about how much third world people get experimented on with chemicals in their food by American manufacturers. Now, if people want to attack it, you know, you know, use facts. Don't, don't, just join in a conspiracy theory or jump on the bandwagon and think Bill Gates is trying to conquer the world through doing this kind of stuff. It's just not how it is. Yeah, I mean, ne I, ne I think ne never, never met the guy. So yeah, it's crazy to, crazy to talk about yeah. him owning the company or something like that. I've never even met him. Yeah. So I think, I think, I think, you know, is he an investor? No, <laughs> not even an investor. Okay. Not even so, a shareholder in the company. So not I don't know how so, would benefit from this. Yeah. Hyman carries on about what victims they are of conspiracy theories and attacks. Dr. Hyman, what we are actually concerned about, we consumers who expect our thought leaders to do their homework, you asked James Rogers how his product was made and didn't apparently notice when he didn't answer your question. You can spend endless hours reading about how the Gates Foundation has invested all over the US in toxic chemicals, larva and cricket farming, and so much more. And according to his own website, James Rogers' effort, in which it's in the public record, he was awarded two grants whether Bill Gates is a shareholder or not. It's worse than that, actually, because Appeal founder James Rogers is also a member of the World Economic Forum. Anyways, please keep telling your grocer that you don't want your food sprayed with Appeal. It's not food protecting food, as James Rogers tells Mark Hyman. It's full of synthetic chemicals, metals, and solvents. It's not the exact same as a lemon peel, as Rogers also says. It's a bunch of synthetic chemicals and solvents with a, with a pinch of some kind of greenwashing to be able to market it as plant-based. If you wrote Appeal Sciences earlier this year, you'd have been told that it was made with grapeseed. But in the interview with Dr. Hyman, James Rogers says it's pulp or feedstocks that you can get anywhere. Where do you get the ingredients to make this? Like, how does it come? Because people are wondering, like, where does it come from? We, we, can, we, the, we can get the materials from anywhere, but because they're, they're used so ubiquitously, but we get them from seeds, pulps, skins. Basically, we just want homogenous feedstocks. And then we separate out those oils and then we distill them to purify them. If you don't tell your grocer you don't want food with this stuff on it, they'll be selling it to you soon enough if they aren't already. Hyman and Rogers laugh about how the consumer isn't the customer of Appeal Sciences, so these guys don't really have to care, but we do care. And we need to make sure that the grocery manager at every store you shop at knows you don't want to unknowingly buy this stuff on your food. Thanks for following Green Smoothie Girl. Thanks for staying in dialogue with your grocer about this, and I'll see you next time.